everyone, it's Kieran with Thrifted Living and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Today I would like to share with you the next part of the craft room series and in today's video I'm going to be focusing on the wall decor and the gallery walls and starting to really hang up all of those pieces that just really make a space look really pretty and put together. Sorry if you hear some noises, our neighbor and Sean are both mowing the lawn at the same time and literally one is standing right here weed whacking and Sean is right out front using the lawnmower so sorry if you hear a little bit of extra noise. So if you've been following my channel for a while you know that I shared a video of a thrifted gallery wall and I actually had that in the old craft room. So pretty much what I'm going to be doing today is moving a lot of those pieces over here and I'm going to be separating them out a little bit. In the other room I had a really big wall that fit all of the pieces in one space but for this room I want to kind of separate them a little bit and kind of make like little moments in the room and you'll understand a little more once you see the different parts of the room. And of course I'm also incorporating some new pieces into the space. All right so let's just get to work hanging up some art in the craft room. So it is part six I believe, part five, part six I think of the craft room series. I guess I know my hair is a mess. I was just outside working on a chair for the craft desk and I'm so bummed because I was doing so well, I was using the drill, which I don't use that often, and then the battery died. And I can't find the charger. So, I am stopping that project for now. I really wanted to get like a coat of paint on it first before I moved in here, but that's not gonna happen right now because I can't find the charger. So, what I figured I would do is start getting the gallery wall ready. So I'm gonna turn the camera a little bit. So what I would like to do is put the gallery wall right over here. I had a thrifted gallery wall that I did in the other craft room, which is the spare bedroom now, and I want to bring that whole gallery wall into here. So I'm probably going to use up most of this space for the pictures and everything, but there are a lot of other walls. You know, there are the walls behind me, and then there's the wall above that organizer right there. There are quite a few spaces that I want to get decorated. I'm just trying to figure out, figure out exactly where I want to take and put everything, but I know the first step is definitely going to be taking the pictures out of the old craft room. And I have them all on command strips, so that's perfect. It's not going to be too damaging to anything. So I'm going to go through and start pulling those down right now. I think that's going to be like the first part. And then I will um, figure out where I'm going to put them all in here. I'm really excited. So if you've been following my channel for a while, you probably saw me do this project. I want to say... I think it was last summer actually that I tackled this project and I actually did a video about two different gallery wall spaces that I had worked on. One is in our kitchen and the other is right here and I'll make sure to link that video above in case you'd like to check it out. So I'm going to just pull all of this stuff off the wall. Luckily I used command strips so it won't be too difficult to get it off and I'm hopefully going to put it in a similar type setup in the craft room but we'll have to see because Obviously, this space is much bigger than the space that I have to work with in the, the new craft room. So, all right, let's just get to work. So what I'm going to do first is take this stuff off of the shelf right here. So I am planning on organizing everything like this, but if a picture falls because like the adhesive isn't good, I want to just give it some time to set before I just put anything glass underneath it because all of this stuff is in glass right now. So I'm just going to remove this stuff and then I'm going to sort of try to figure out exactly how I want to lay things out. So luckily I have all of my command strips organized in one of these little bins that I got at Dollar Tree. I am trying to figure out exactly how I want to do this. So it is wide enough to fit like the three main pieces, which I would say that these three pieces are the main ones. This is one that I made using a vintage like paint swatch that I found for free at an estate sale. Um, so I made two of those and, and then in the middle, I will put this pair of scissors they were originally red and then I spray painted them gold and I found that at an estate sale too or a garage sale. I'm just trying to figure out where exactly I want to put these. Maybe even straight down the middle. That could look good. I'm just I'm afraid that it's going to be too short. There won't be enough space and then we'll have... So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some more command strips on the back of this and then I'm going to start hanging things up. I love these like picture hanging command strips. They're really, really strong. And the one thing you do is when you're clipping them on, you listen for it. Can you hear that? 
it sort of like pops together. And that's just how you know that it's secured. So now I'm going to hang up this sign. It says, imagine your dream, create your happiness and live your life, which I think is perfect. I wanna say that these little uh, command strips, these ones say they hold like 10 pounds or something like that. I like to have more than I really need because I just like to make sure that it's stuck on there really nicely. Just because I wanna really make sure that it's gonna be safe and secure. And I like to always have some of these on hand. I use them all the time, especially these photo ones. They're just really helpful. I really don't like drilling holes into our walls because we have like a cement wall. It's just really difficult to do it. So I, that's why I really love um, command strips. So I was just overlooking at that gallery wall space, sort of trying to figure out where I wanna put everything. And I think that it might be just a little too cluttered. So right here, I'm standing in front of the wall that's right in front of the closet and the doorway to get in, like the door to the room is right behind me. And I thought it could be nice to put this little sign right here. So it's like a, a welcoming to the room is to imagine your dream, create your happiness and live your life. So I thought this could be nice to put right here. I'm just gonna try to center it as best I can. So these command strips are so easy to use. You just peel off this little protective barrier and so I'm gonna just do that on all four of these. Now I'm going to just stick it to the wall. I'm going to hold it there for a little bit just to make sure that it's really stuck on there nicely. And I'm gonna to try to line it up best I can with the wall just to make sure that it's as straight as it can be as well. And then I'm just gonna let it sit and it should be fine. It's not too heavy. And especially with all of these different strips on it, I think it should stick on there nicely. Aw, isn't that such a nice way to open the door? You just enter and you see that little sign. I think it looks really great. So now I would like to give you a closer look at some of the places that I added decor to. I really like how I was able to separate things out. So let me share that with you right now. So right here I have that cube organizer and above I have a little tiny gallery wall. It doesn't feel done yet, but I really like these staple pieces. These are some of my favorites from that thrifted gallery wall video that I did. I left a lot of space right down here because some of the things that I have displaying some of my pieces are a little taller and I know that I don't want anything to be blocked. I don't want any of these pictures to be blocked by those pieces. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I might want to add a couple more things but I'm not quite sure what I want to do yet. And I like how these are all gold inspired. So then over here above this white shelf that I had thrifted and painted, I have included this button sign, which I love because it actually has little buttons on it. And then right here I have two embroidery ho hoops and I just added some greenery to them. And I kind of like how this has more of like a natural vibe with the wood and then the greenery. And that's it for this part of the craft room series. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you're enjoying seeing how this is turning out. I am having so much fun sharing this with you all and I'm so excited to see it come together. It's been a long summer working on this project. It's been a great summer. I've had a lot of fun working on it, but I'm ready for it to be done and to be able to really start to do some work in here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to check out my blog at thriftedlivingblog.com. Please follow me on Instagram at thriftedliving. And if you don't have an Instagram but would like to stay up to date with what I'm doing, you can follow me on Facebook at thriftedlivingpage. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!